The time is now three minutes past the hour. Western New York faces a crisis. Too many people from all walks of life have died from drug overdoses as the opioid epidemic continues to grow. Every one of those people left behind loved ones who are now struggling to heal. News Force Katie Alexander is outside the Old County Hall in Buffalo, where a black balloon display hopes to offer comfort and help save lives. Katie? Well, Brittany. Throughout the day around the country, people are displaying those black balloons outside their homes to help raise awareness about just how widespread the opiate epidemic is, how many lives have been touched and families ripped apart by it. Uh, something you know so, so well. You've lost two children to the opiate epidemic. Tell me about your sons. Um, this one is Christopher, and he is, he died when he was 31. Very loving. He was my first true love. Um, he started opiates um, because of a hand injury and he was prescribed into addiction. And David, 50 weeks later, 50 months later, 50 weeks. 50 weeks. Weeks within a year um, after Thanksgiving, David also succumbed to the opioids. It was um, fentanyl, I believe. And, well, it was fentanyl. And I'd like the community to just please get working on this. The medical community, scientists, whoever needed needs to help with this problem. You said the, there were silent signs of addiction here. Tell me a little bit about that. I didn't. I didn't know either one of my sons had a problem. The pills don't smell. They don't. They can be hidden. I don't know. I didn't know. They were both living out of my household. They visited. They didn't act strange. They they just they were you know the adventurer and the and the lover. I would call these two. <laughs> um, How do you cope? I, two sons. Day by day. Um, I do fortunately still have one daughter left, and um, she's 16. She's my pride and joy, and I. I'm hoping to God that she doesn't get into this. No injuries, thank goodness. Of course, she won't do sports, so <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Well, with the black balloon event today, I think a big part of this is raising awareness about how how many families this touches, that people have no idea that this is your neighbor, your coworker, your friend. Would you have ever seen this in your own family? No, no. David was a worker and Chris was a lover, and it, these things shouldn't be happening. So sad. I'm sad. I'll always be sad, but someday I'll meet him again. Do you think there's a stigma in our community about uh, addiction, about this epidemic? Well, I hope there isn't. I mean, these are just normal kids. I mean, 30 and 31, they had a lot to live for, and if there is, then we'd better get rid of it. <laughs> I don't understand why there would be. And if there is, then hopefully this black balloon event will take a big impact on that. That starts at 6 o'clock here this evening outside the Old County Hall. Afterwards, the families are invited to take a balloon home with them to display and help show just how widespread this issue is in our community. We'll continue to be checking in with these families throughout the rest of the morning here on Wake Up, so please stick with us. Reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. Thank you, Katie.